Good morning, folks. You know, we got some bad weather right now. 40 mile per hour, 35 to 40 mile per hour wind gust, and uh, 25 mile per hour at all times. We're going to have two days of this. After these two days are over, it's going to start really raining. Upward of four to five inches of rain is possible. Now here in the Tennessee Valley, with all the mountains that we have, and creeks, these Gunnersville, Neely, Henry, Weiss is going to be flooded. It's going to be high, muddy water. Terrible fishing conditions. Right now is terrible fishing conditions too. A boat, it'd be out of the question. There's no way in the world I'd get out on Gunnersville with 40 mile per hour winds. No way or Weiss or Neely Henry. You couldn't get anywhere to fish effectively. So what I'm going to do today is try to get in areas that are wind protected. If the wind's blowing in the right way, they should be protected enough to see. I'm curious of what the fish is going to do. Fish behavior fascinates me. Can they be caught or not? Well, in situations like this, fishing from the bank can be a lot more productive than out in the boat. So come with me and we'll do a lot of hiking today and we'll see what we can do. Come on, let's go fishing. We got to go when we can because it's good for us. Come on. I'm going to go see if Elmer will go with me. He might go with me. Hey. Ha <laughs> ha. I tell you what, Elmo, I heard of many account of Sasquatch in the area. A lot of people, they call it the skunk ape. Now I want you to stay in there behind me and keep your ears open because, hey, that thing's in here somewhere, boy. You'll smell him before you see him, but if I smell something that stinks, I'm getting out of here, man. Look right there where my rod tip is. There's its footprint. See, I told you. <laughs> I want you to look here. I can't believe it. <laughs> Let me loosen my drag off. I've walked about two miles down this up and down mountains to get to this spot. And that I didn't realize it was going to be this rough and I got a crappie. I know that's crappie. Then caught too many. And it's a big one too on this little line. So I'm going to take it easy. Get back here. God, what a crappie. I'm sorry about the wind noise, folks, but. This is what we're going to be experiencing for about two days. I want you to look what a slab right here. Come on in here. Come on. Woo! That was a bad oil. Oh, wait. Look at there. What a crappie. Look at there. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> I can't believe. Well, I can too. They're going to survive one way or the other. They're survivors. Let's let that pretty rascal go. He's having to put up with a bunch of conditions right here. But they're tough. Let's let him go. Go on back in there, boy. What you gonna do? I wore him plumb out that little line. I'm gonna retie a knot and I'm gonna throw back out there, folks. There's another one. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I come out here with just one pound line. One reason is because my rod is real short. And there's one, two, there's three mountains that I gotta climb to get to here. So it took me one hour 
of up down mountains and I'm glad I can still do it but this is a good fish right here I got an inch and a quarter slab tail I may have to speak a little louder I'm sorry about it but this is what I've had to do for years and years studying these crappie that's a good one it's a monster is what he is for one pound line and I'm just going to let him wear himself out oh my goodness this is a big one I got a size 8 hook and one pound test line and 40 mile prior winds <laughs> I'm having a uh, Yahweh. what about this there we go see little bitty bait little bitty hook I'm gonna have to re-rig that he tore that jig up see how he done right there folks that's a beautiful crappie and I'm tickled to get him under these conditions I hate to holler but I want y'all to hear me <laughs> get on back in there boy there he goes the water is getting dirty so I have a small window of opportunity right here so I'm gonna do the best we can if I could just keep my line down towards the water it, it'll slow the drift down enough to where maybe I can get the strike there we go stay on stay on stay on stay on let me get up here high ah, gosh we talking about a battle one pound line does anybody do that get out of that top does anybody do it? Why would anybody do it? This is a pretty black crappie right here. Come on. Trying to shake that jig. That hook. I'm over. I'm having to reach over that log. That water's cold. Now he splashed the lens now. <sighs> that slab tail. That just that pure white. You know it shows up in that color of water, and they just can't. They ain't gonna be able to stand it. That's three out of there. I'm lucky, folks, to caught what I have so far. Guarantee you. Let's let that pretty thing go. <laughs> I love it. Get on back in there. I'm going to again apologize about the video, but you know, going fishing when you can is good for you. And climbing these mountains one after another after another is pretty good too unless you get in a briar patch like i did a while ago but that's part of it let's make us another cast right there in the same spot ah i missed it just a little bit see if we can't pick up another one or two i'd love to there we go That's a crappie. He was in the, the back end right here. Okay. I don't know if I need to loosen that off or not. I got it loose as a goose right now. There he is, golly. He jumped like a bass, folks. I hope, Ugh, let me get off of that. I hope it, that was caught on the camera. 
That was pretty jump. He come up and jumped just like a bass. Tried to shake that jig. Oh, come on. Come on, boy. There we go. There's another one. Got him in the tough part of the roof of the mouth right there. I'm gonna change colors right here. They're kind of, well, I might throw back up in there and see again. Ain't that pretty? That's beautiful. A beautiful crappie. Just let him go. Let him do what he's doing. Makes more than pretty things. Go on back in there, boy! <laughs> there we go. That fish hit that right at the top of a wave. Hey! Let me loosen that off. We'll just really take the time on this one because I didn't retie my knot. This one happens to be bigger, I think. I'm gonna get right over here and see if I'm landing. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. I should have retied my knot. Yeah. Don't give me a fit. It's all right. That's okay. That's what we do. He's just a stout crappie. Here he is. Yeah, that's why he's a big one. Come on, boy. Come on in here. On it. Oh, goodness. Come on. Don't get mad. Look at there. <laughs> Oh, me, I love it. Oh, I can't tell y'all how much I love this. <laughs> wow. It's one pound test line. Y'all get you some and try it. Let it be a challenge. Let's just let him go. Right there be a good place. Go on. Get on back in there, boy. That's a lot of fun. I tell you, I'm gonna go ahead and change to a. Let's see what color we got right here. Yeah, this is a good muddy water color right here too. The super slab tail, 1.75 hot mess. I'm just gonna put one of these on here. This is the one I've caught a lot of fish. It's got a. See the tail action? It's real whoopty whoopty whoopity. Doodah. Let's change right there and see if we can't get a few more strikes. I'm resting for a little bit, folks. Uh, like I said, I'm a long ways from the truck. I went uh, up and down three mountains. But now there's a cooler, a mentor cooler down there that somebody had come off somebody's boat and pushed up in there, a brand new one, and I'm gonna pick it up on the way out because I love fishing. Oh no, oh no. I don't know where I'm at out here in these old woods. And I hear a tell of there that there was sat scratches out in here. And I don't know where I'm at. Boy, if that old thing slips up on me, I'll just have a heart attack. They ain't no need of nothing being so ugly and stinking like them old things are. I'm just going to try to find my way out of here. That's all I know to do. There we go. That's crappy, too. I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Is it I just can't quit? Now it's getting cold out here, I'm talking about. Let me raise my voice, sir. Ha ha ha! This is a big, big crop in here, so I'm gonna take my time. This one pound test line is burning me. That's the word, that's how we say it around here. It's running me. 
aqui, ó. Olha aí. Casa mil. Calma. Casa mil. Beautiful, beautiful fish. There you go. I just don't know what to take about it. <laughs> I just don't. Let's let him go. Go on back, do your little job. This water's getting cloudier and cloudier. Yep. Come back and got it. Come on. That jig come over the top of that tree. And when it did, he hit it and I missed him. Put it right back and he got it. Wow. <laughs> come on up there. <laughs> okay. I'll just have to get you out the best I can there. Whew. Back and forth. He's going back and forth. My goodness. My goodness, what a cropping. Okay. <sighs> Huge. Wow. Do you here's a question right here. Do you have to have big big jigs to catch a big crappie? There's your answer. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You don't have to. Not unless you just want to fish with a bigger jig, but let's let that pretty thing go. Go on back. That was a big crappie. That was a, what, two pounder? Probably. All right, let's catch us another one there. Elmo. <laughs> I'm going to do that again. Okay, we got this blow down right here off in about 10 feet of water. And uh, what I did is I threw upwind from it and I let it blow across and the jig tipped the top of it, just come across it. And when that jig come off, that crappie got him. Okay, and I missed him the first time and got him the second time. Or there's some more in there. Let's just see. If you was me, would you throw back in there just to see? There we go. Another fish. All right, another one. Let me get right here and then we'll deal with it. I didn't see the black on this fish. This fish is real black. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh me it's a good one too I guarantee you that <laughs> this little sienna it's called a sea oh wait a minute it's a drag spinning sienna shimano sienna shimano is something else. I love this reel. I believe it's got four ball, ball bearings. Four or five. And this little micro series rod right here. And I'm having a ball. Look here. There's another one. I'm talking about we're having some fun catching slabs. Under these conditions, once again, I feel blessed to catch my favorite fish to catch and always has been since i was a young lad let's let her go let him go that was a male folks i apologize for the windy video now i'm up here uh i've gotten to the third mountain i had to go over three mountains it's a long hike and um it's something i like to do and uh, I hadn't 
changed since I was a kid. I like to get out and explore. And I like, I love the fish off the bank. You know, had a lot of comments about that. But the fact is, I love the fish off the bank. You can really control your bait a lot better from the bank. But what's exciting to me is this one pound test line, noodle whip of a rod, and this, uh, I can't pronounce it real good. It's Sanina Shimano. Shimano Sanina. It has four ball bearings in it. Smooth drag system. It's a challenge. Every one of those crop here is a challenge to, to even get them close to you. They just, they're back and forth, back and forth. There's nothing you can do about it. And that's what I like, it's a challenge. I don't want everything to be easy. Weather conditions is something you have to face if you're a fisherman. Uh, as far as rising barometer, falling barometer, I completely ignore that. I go when I can because it's good for me. Because overanalyzing a simple fishing trip will ruin your day if you really want to go fishing. I think by being stubborn, pursuing the sport that you love, you're going to catch fish if you want to. And what's more important, hey, man, they ain't nobody out here. Now, I do what I, hey, whoa, we. Go fishing with